Raw Mass Challenge number 6. For more information you should watch the beginning of the challenge number 1. The basics are you're not allowed any calculating devices or measuring implements such as rulers and protractors. All you should need is a pencil and a piece of paper. Pause the video now and have a go at these warm-up questions. Let's get started with the junior warm-up. Peg has six times as much chocolate as Reg. So Peg has Peg is equal to six times Reg. Meg has twice as much chocolate as Reg, so Meg equals two times Reg. Peg has now how many times as much chocolate as Meg? Well, what we need to do here, we could we could spot this straight off, but um, probably the best thing to do is just to say everything's in terms of Reg. So if we call Reg, we say Reg is one. Then Peg has six times as much chocolate, so that's six. And Meg has twice as much chocolate, so that's two. So how much more does uh, Peg have than Meg? Well, Peg is six and Meg is two, so that's three times as much. So that's uh, Peg equals three times Meg. So that's uh, A, three times as much. Intermediate warm-up. So the shop advertises get buy one, get one half price. So that's 100% is the buy and get one. And then one at half price is 50%. So we're getting a, we're paying 150% for two items. Okay, let's have a see which ones of these this is going to match to. So two for the price of one, three for the price of one, three for the price of two, and so on. Well, they're all in whole numbers, so let's just make this into a whole number. So that's one and a half times is two items. So three times the cost of one item is going to equal four items. So we're getting four items for the price of three. The cost is three times, and we're getting four items. So we're getting four items for the price of three, which is D. Okay, senior warm-up. Matte black paint absorbs 97% of light. The remainder is reflected. And then we develop some paint that means that it's ten times black, which means one-tenth of the reflected light is now reflected by the paint. So. Um, originally we had 97% of light um, is absorbed and 3% is reflected. Now this 10 times better means that only a tenth of 3% which is 0.3% is now reflected. So if we, we are reflecting 0.3% then we are left with 99.7% which is C. Junior Trixie question from Raw Mass Challenge number 5. Okay, we're going to go through the solution to this question. It's a much trickier question than normal that I do on the Trixie questions because it was a holiday special and it was taken from a uh, the next level of Mass Challenges past the ordinary ones. Now, uh, key to this, as I think I said on my tips, is to draw the diagram correctly or get a reasonably good drawing of the diagram. Here's a little sketch of the squares, not perfect squares, but you know, good enough to be able to label it. And it's labelled anti-clockwise, so we need to label the centre point A, then B, C and D. Now it doesn't say the squares are labelled anti-clockwise, but if you carry on that idea you would go A, E, F and G, and then A, H, I and J. Now if you had actually switched these two around and gone around labelling the squares clockwise it would have actually given you a different question. The key here, a lot of the well, main key to this is there's a lot of isosceles triangles going on in here because these, these all sides are the same. And we're trying to find the, uh, the length of G, sorry, the angle of G, B, H, which is that angle in there. Let's just mark that with a just shade that in a little bit with the red. Okay, so that's the angle we're trying to find, that red angle there. Okay. Now what we've got here is we've got several sort of isosceles triangles. Let's look at this triangle here, G A B. Okay, so in that triangle, let's use a purpley colour. We've got this set of angles here. Now we've got these three angles here. Now, as these are all identical squares, 
um, and they're equally spread then we know that this, these three angles, this angle here, this angle here, and this angle here are the same. Let's just work that out what that is, because the, all these angles here are 90 degrees. These are all right angles because they're, tri they're squares. So if we do uh, three lots of 90 plus three lots of the missing angle x, I'll call that x in there, and that equals 360. So three 90 to 270, so three lots of x is 360 minus 270 which is 90 degrees so x equals 30 degrees so this angle here is 30 and all those three angles are 30 so this angle on this isosceles triangle GAB because um, I want to try and work out this angle here that angle there is 90 plus 30 plus 30 so I have um, let's try and draw arrow into there, 90 plus 30 plus 30 is going to be 150. So because these two angles are the same, because it's isosceles, we have um, these angles inside out to 180, so we've got 150 plus 2 times, let's call it A, equals 180. So 2A equals 30, so A equals 15. So that angle there, which I'm going to call A, is 15. Now I'm trying to find this red one, so if I can find all of this angle in here, let's use another colour, let's use black, so if I can find this angle here and take this angle away, then I'm left with the red angle. I'm going to call that angle the, the, the black angle B, and that's in this triangle, this isosceles triangle, A, B, H. Okay. Now this time we're just using 90 plus 30 is 120, so we've got 120 plus 2b this time equals 180. So 2b is 60, so b is 30 degrees. So b is 30, a is 15, so the angle gbh must equal 30 minus 15, which is 15 degrees. Intermediate Trixie from Raw Mass Challenge number 5. Again, another tricky one, trickier than normal. Um, essentially, with this sort of question, it's best just to have a go at some things. So if I tried just putting a three digit, the first three digit number is 100, but I should realise that anything with a zero in, when you, when you work out the product of the digits, 1 times 0 times 0, it's going to be 0. So we can ignore any number that has a zero in it. So the first number that doesn't have a zero in it is 111. And the product of the digits there, 1 times 1 times 1, is just going to be 1. And then the next one would be 112, and the product of those would be 2, 113, 3, 114, 4, and so on. All the way down to 119 would be 9. And the idea is, when she adds up all these products, what is the total equal to? Well, these ones, these ones add up to 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4, all the way up to 9. If you work that out, you get 45. If you know a little bit about triangular numbers, you might know that a bit quicker than having to add them all up. Another idea is you can use, you go 1 plus 9, 2 plus 8, 3 plus 7, 4 plus 6, and then have the 5 in the middle. Okay, so the next set of numbers would be 121, 122, 123, and so on. Now this time, they're going to multiply to give you 2, 4, 6, all the way down to 18. So this is going to be twice 45. And then if I have 131, 132, it's going to go 3, 6, 9, down to 27. So it's going to be 3 times 45. And just as we added up the numbers 1, 2, 3, up to 9, that makes 45. If I add up these totals, I've got 1 lots of 45, 2 lots of 45, 3 lots of 45, up to 9 lots of 45. So those are going to total up to... 45, lots of 45. And then similarly, when I when I change from hundreds to two hundreds, I'm going to go 211. I'm going to start this all over again, where I, I've got, but the fir first number is 2, 212 is 4, and then 6, and so on. And then I'm going to get, this is what, from 211 up to 299, this whole sum is going to be twice this whole sum because we just got these extra two. We're doubling everything in this sequence, in this series. 
So we're going to end up with two lots of 45 times 45. We have one lot of 45 times 45 for the hundreds. For the 200s we've got two lots. For the 300s I'm going to end up with three lots of 45 times 45. And again, all the way up to 999, in the 900s I'm going to have nine lots of 45 times 45. So again, I've got one, two, three, four, five, all the way up to nine lots of 45. So in total, we're going to have 45 lots of 45 times 45, which is 45 cubed. Senior trick C from Raw Maths challenge number 5. This is a particularly tricky question. We're trying to prove that OY equals RY, so we're trying to prove that this line is the same as this line. To do that, um, it is sufficient to be able to prove that this angle is the same as this angle. So, okay, we need to prove. R O Y equals angle R O Y equals angle O R Y there and and then therefore O Y equals R Y. Okay, so let's start. Um you could use um circle theorems because this is part of a circle to do this, but I'm gonna use just basic angles to get to the answer. Now first of all I'm going to call this angle X. Uh, we've got an isosceles triangle here, so this angle is also X. Um, so this angle here is going to be 2X because this angle is 180 minus 2X and therefore this must be 2X. So this is an exterior angle of a triangle. So um, call RXQ equal to X which implies that ORY so we're trying to find angle ORY is equal to 2x since it is an exterior angle to triangle um, RXQ. So that's the first part. Now we've got to try and prove that uh, this angle ROY, uh, Roy if you like, is equal to 2x and then we're done. Um, the way to do that is to split this into um, two triangles along this point because that gives us some isosceles triangles. Because these are radii of a circle all three of these lengths are the same. So I need to work out this angle and this angle here and then add them together. To do this angle um, I'm going to use the fact that this is 2x, so this is 2x, because isosceles. So since ORQ is isosceles, OQR equals 2x. So OQX equals 3X, which implies that OQP is 180 minus 3X. So that's this angle here, is 180 minus these two. As PQX is a straight line. So I've got that angle there. Um, this angle is the same. So O, sorry, P O Q equals 180 minus two lots of 180 minus 3x. So it's two lots of this angle, which we worked out here, as O P Q is isosceles. So that's equal to, if I do all that I get um, 6x minus 180 or 180 minus 6, uh, plus 6x. 
but that's a nicer way of writing it. Um, this angle in here, angle O, sorry, R, O, Q, um, is going to be equal to 180 minus 4x because O, Q, X is 3x and that angle is x, so this angle is 180 minus those two. Therefore, um, ROY, angle ROY, is equal to angle POQ plus angle ROQ, which is 6x minus 180 plus 180 minus 4x. So the 180s go, 6x minus 4x is 2x. Thus, proving. O Y R is isosceles and therefore O Y equals R Y. And finally some new tricksy questions to keep you busy until next time. Not as hard as last week's, um, but still not easy. The topic for this week is ratio. Please feel free to post your thoughts on the solutions to these questions in the comments section. If you have found this video interesting don't forget to give us a thumbs up and if you want to check your answers subscribe to Raw Maths on YouTube so you can find out when I post the next video which will have the solutions to these questions. So until next time, good luck.